That never happened. We did. It feels good being right back. It's like it oh, didn't even happen. Man, what are we talking about? What were we talking about? Where were we when that happened? Um, I don't know. Oh, I was getting. I think we were getting. In, I remember the track was. Uh, I think I was going to like, if you were to pop big and make it big now. Yeah. So back in the day, it wouldn't have ended well for you. Right. That lifestyle were caught up. Yeah. But so sure. like now, if you if you get it big, you said it ain't gonna change a lot. You just won't be drinking. Yeah. But like. What was that lifestyle? What do you dream about? Yeah. Do you dream about making it big? I mean, not necessarily. I think it's going to be a part of the territory that I'm swimming in. Yeah. It's a good chance that that could happen. You know what I'm saying? It's going to definitely be a, a it's going to get to a level where I have a genuine following. Right. Now, how that following grows depends on, the you know, depends on a lot of things. It's been know? blown up, right? It's, like it's, on Instagram, I saw when I first saw you, it was an big at all yeah it's i don't think and then now it's like i don't know close to five thousand or something yeah it's going it's grown. like within just a month or two it's like blown up yeah it's, it's gaining speed the, the more it grows the more it grows you i got gotcha, you yeah so, so that's a good thing you know what i mean and um <coughs> so it i think it'll come to a place where it's gonna be a chance you know all this stuff you, you only one click away one person, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like I said, just what, the, right, the person. right machine behind it can do anything. Right. And that's what anything creative, period. Right. So anybody who put that kind of drive behind it, you know what I'm saying? Not to say that my music is just so special. I mean, it's just what I'm going to do with it. Right. And it is special, you know what I'm saying? Right. But, uh, so if it goes there, if that's where it was, if that's where it's meant to go, I got the head for it. I got enough solid people around me because I don't have a lot of people. I don't, I don't need a, the people who I have around me whether you know what I'm saying they see my vision as much as I do or they don't is irrelevant to the fact that they're there solid even when they don't understand it even when it even when they almost derail it by accident yeah even when, even, yeah by that I mean like they don't realize how sensitive it is you know what I'm saying it's like it's this shit is mind over matter for real you got to stay in that brain frame I don't want nothing to knock me off of that so even when it can be an undermined accident of being dangerous to have them around as much. The people that I have around me were well, there in the mud, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're, gonna, they're not going to change. They don't give a <coughs> fuck now. They don't give a they yeah. don't, the fir- They're going to hear that for the first time, like uh, the growth that you just explained. They don't know anything about that shit. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? It's just yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? And that's good, you know, and, 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 and I'm, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if, it, if I think if I was a more social and a, more of a click orientated type of person where I'm associated with this click, that click, or whatever, where there'd be more people around it to make it more of a entourage type of situation, then that fanfare could definitely be something that could that could exist. But I'm not going to, that's not my style. Yeah. So, um, so for me, I'm not worried about it, no matter where it goes. I'm always going to be wherever I am there. I, wherever you go there. What's the name of the book? I just got finished reading this book. It's called Wherever You Go, There You Are or whatever. And I know this is really me now. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing. Before, I was more impressionable. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's what if that boy was on. I was trying to be on that same thing probably. You know what I'm saying? But now <coughs> I, I'm very solid with who I am. So if it's a party, if it's my kind of party up there, <laughs> but if it's not my kind of thing, right? I'm not with it. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not knocking it. But yes, ain't my kind of thing. Party on. You know what I'm saying? Do it. Yeah. You're young. Look, if you if you're in that position, and you and you and you and that's what you got going on, man, do it. Yeah. If I was 25, 24, <coughs> who knows? On the crest to death, what I would have done. You know what I'm saying? And with a with a with a with a with no guilt, you know what I'm saying, behind it. You know what I'm saying? If I would have been right, on right. oh yeah, we would have been we would we would have been kicking it to the tenth degree. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? To the twelfth degree. We were kicking it pretty hard then anyway. So I'm not mad at that, but I've progressed, you know what I'm saying? That'd be going backwards for me to try to live like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, let me step back and try to be like this again. 
I've already done that. My version of it wasn't as big as somebody else's, but still the same version, yeah, still the same it, thing. Right. It's like I was playing pro sports. You know, saying so I wasn't in the NBA with you guys, but we were over here. The pretty CBA pretty or something good yeah. over here in this street ball league right here where we still get the pay you know what i'm saying yeah, so yeah. it wasn't it wasn't that foreign i got you you know what i'm saying so nice but you know what i'm saying but now it's just like that would be hustling way backwards you know what i'm saying and all i see is what's in front of me and what goes that way you yeah know, goes up and out and forward nothing goes nothing in my rear view dunks me man yeah so that's the way to do it yeah man. man yeah i would love to yeah i don't know oh yeah we were talking about strip clubs too yeah now see, like I would love, like, see, like I, if I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have a great time. Yeah, you know what I'm saying my old lady gonna be doing, doing, throwing the most tip money. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, you know what I'm saying? It's still a party. You what's know a good what strip club? Like, what's it? What they don't make here? them like they used to. They so don't. I don't even know, man. We used to when I used to go frequently. I used to date a chick. She was cool as shit too. Um, it's the past I can talk about it, but uh, <laughs> it's sad because I don't want this to come back. Right, right. But, it's a long time. But no, nah, hell yeah. But uh, she worked at bazookas and shit. That was her primary one. And then she would dance like at these other places outside of like in Lawrence and shit. Outhouse. Outhouse. We brought that up on this outhouse, <clears throat> dude. And she yeah. would go to those places at All Stars and shit like that. When <clears throat> I mean, the strip club used to look like the little John East Side Boys video when you walk in there uh, out in Lawrence yep. and uh, this place All Stars. But uh. But yeah, but, but back then you could take it all off. You could do everything. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Now, oh yeah, now, juice bars. Yeah, yeah. Now it's just like, you know, everything's covered up now. Right, I yeah, spent so much. long. I can't tell yeah, you last yeah, time. Yeah, I've yeah been. last time I went, I was like, this is hella, hella, hella PG. Like, you know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah. And I used to go be in a, I like the strip club was something that I used to be at all the time too because she worked there. You know what I'm saying? So I was in there. You know, I, I knew the guys with the door. Right. I'd be wouldn't be I wasn't back there all the time in the pub where she called me back there for a reason or something like that. I've been in that back room where that's a terrible place back there. Don't go <laughs> in the back of the strip club. Don't go back there, dude. With all the strippers? Yeah, don't go back there. Yeah. Man. It's not as sexy as it is. No, I, it's not. I, no, I'm telling you, on, on stage is the shit, and that dan- lap dance room is is really tight, but. Back there where it's personal, nah, man, it is not. It's not. I've been yeah, back it's, there. It's a spoiler, dude. You've been there. I've been back there. Yeah, it's that yeah. you don't want to see how the sausage is made, right? And it's being made, and it's not pretty, <laughs> right, dog? I'm glad somebody else, man. You see, it's the synchronicity is real, man. <laughs> but yeah, but nah, but yeah. The last time I can remember going, which was a long time ago, I was like, "What the fuck is this?" You know yeah. what I'm saying? This is like Showtime, like a Showtime movie in midnight. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it was, it was okay. It was like with my my if my guy son, you know what I'm saying, he's he'll be five. If he was to walk in and see what I was seeing, I was like, Man, turn the channel. You know, yeah. I wouldn't lose right. it though. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's right. what you know, if he would have seen what I seen, I would have took him to church. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know what I mean? so. Does that how still is it still exist? Do they still get down? Do you know? Not around here, I don't believe. But that's Kansas. But no, no, no. But Lawrence was the last of it that was still getting down like that. If they still yeah. getting down like are that, are they at still? All, if they're getting down like that, they're getting down like that in Lawrence, and not getting down like that around. That's here. what I'm saying. Yeah, so they might it, be getting down doing, like that. We need to find out. We do need we, to find out. We can go. We could go. We could bring a camera. We can make a whole deal. What do you think, Zar? Can we make a whole like cool episode? Bring, I don't know if we can bring the camera. Then. No, we'll we'll find a way. We will. We'll hide it. You have to do it. We'll figure it out. We'll bring a little. Uh, <laughs> Oh okay, yeah, that would get some. That'll Bribe be, our way in. Yeah, with that opens up a lot of doors in that neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> really will. <laughs> I know. <it> will. <laughs> in that yeah. world, man, that is uh, that's, that's gold, access. baby. Yeah, man, <laughs> better than gold, man. Yeah. So what what was the uh, strip club life like for it was a young hip hop artist <laughs> that's 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 doing decently? I wasn't really making it rain a little bit. No, you no, getting the twerking no, on you? That's really <laughs> that was a calm that was a calming <laughs> moment. I had just finished recording what was supposed to be an album called signs if we were going to put it all the way out but we were really trying to fish for that deal so we took a portion of that album and called it trouble and put it out like yes it's a we called it a limited edition ep like we just put something out a chunk of that whole project that we were shopping off so it was kind of like in those phases where dave was kind of trying to find avenues to send shit off and do this so i was kind of like for a little while just posted up over there with her she had a badass place like out in um like headed four thirty five, like if you headed towards Lawrence, I guess, or uh-huh. some shit. Sure. <coughs> it was one of those apartments that are like gated off and 
had a pond or a lake, a little, little baby lake in the backyard Damn. and shit. And she would go and she would come back with so much fucking money yeah, every right. night because she was kind of like exotic. She was different. She would go to these places where it was like she had an angle. She would go to where it was like like what would be like 99% white girls. Uh-huh. And she was like, she was just, she was black. Her mother was, her father was black. Her mother was from Seoul, Korea, like, like all oh, the way fresh damn. from Seoul. She was like, black and Asian? Yeah, like her mother didn't even, like she well, spoke English. That's the English. best like she fucking spoke, like, combination. English. So she would go and stand out at these places oh. and would clean up. <clears throat> and she would bring the money back. And she, for some reason, I don't know why, but she loved this, the shit out of me. And I, I, she didn't <laughs> even know me well enough. You know, we were hanging around each other. <clears throat> like I didn't have that same kind of passion. Yeah, and love for it. It, and it got to the point where first it was like you know you meet a, at first it was cool like yeah it, because and it was tight because I felt like I made that shit happen. Let me because because I'm, I'm gonna take you back to how we I met her. I met her at the strip club. Yeah, one night <clears throat> it was me, my boy Chris, I was talking about earlier, and uh, my partner Dre. We were sitting around playing, doing some dumb shit like just doing nothing, just drunk. <laughs> Literally, like, I think they were playing a video game. We don't even play video games like that and shit. I mean, it was that kind of a lame-ass night. Like, and I'm watching right. them play this video game, and I'm just taunting them. It, it's that boring of a no, right. of a bullshit-ass night. One of us come up to Bright Idea, like, man, we need to see, we need some bitches, man. Like, where are the girls at? Well, just right. us three. That's like the fucking barbershop in here. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I do, yeah. So... They were like, this, man, we don't go out, man. We just got to hit one of these clubs. Like, we out the, we don't be going out all like that at this point in time either. Yeah. And party's usually where we at, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, man, fuck that. Let's just go to the strip club. And he's like, man, we, ain't, we can't meet no girls at the strip club. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean we can't meet no girls at the strip club? If you go out, you know what I'm saying, you're going to end up spending money buying drinks for these brides. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm just using my terminology, but I was thinking in that time. That's literally probably what I said, just like that. The only difference is there these girls that you're probably going to get shot down by, like you're going to get shot down by there, they're already naked. You're halfway there already. <laughs> these girls are way more open-minded than you probably think. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, just got to give it a chance. I said, watch this. I'm going to go there. I'm going to get somebody's number tonight. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I said it like that, too. And, and that's how we even end up really going. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to see if you could really right. do it. And I really did it. I orchestrated the shit out of that, too. I got a little dance. Did the, the classic punk-ass move that girls, if you're in a strip club, never fall for the don't you buy a dance and tell her just to sit down. You just want to talk to her. You don't even want her to dance. Don't fall for that cornball shit. I you did it. It worked. So we was talking, right? Why are you saying don't fall for it? Because it this, I'm telling these girls this for a reason. Because I made it seem like I was just there because this was the atmosphere. Yeah. And I really don't even need you to be dancing on me, on nigga. I just want to holler at you. You know what I'm saying? Just just talk with how your yeah. day going type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And I and I, what I said was like, <clears throat> I'm really here for my boy. I'm coming to tell you he kind of had his eyes <clears throat> a little bit. I'm gonna buy him a dance. This that and this that. I just got to talking to her, talking to her. Next thing you know, I was like, she was like, well, I can't really exchange numbers. I'm like, well, tell my boy because I'm, I'm buying him a dance anyway. Just tell him he'll tell me. It ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it happened. So that's how it, the premise that I met her on was just like, on, 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 for lack of a better term, a, a dare. Very right. chauvinistic right. and it's, not, it's, it's dirty. Like, they ain't dirty. That's what dudes do I mean, at that's that what age. I did. Come on, you know that's what, what young saying? dudes do. I know, that's I know, what I just we want do. People listening to this now, you know what I'm saying? Fuck them. <laughs> but I don't want fuck them. Say, no, you know fuck I mean? them. If anybody listens to this and has a problem with them, right. fuck you, turn this podcast right. off. But no, I don't but want you. But no, there's a good end to, towards this kind of sort of. So this turned into something that wasn't even supposed to be like no relationship. I was just kicking it with this girl. But she was cool as shit, though. You know what sure. I'm saying? Cool yeah. as fuck. Like I mean, we can strippers watch, are cool. Yeah, we we can sit down and watch like the National Lampoon's movies and shit like that. Yeah. She was kind of like she was chill as fuck. She'd be naked during the day, but back but the right. picture like one of the guys almost like yeah. you know what I'm saying for real smoke heavy. You know what I'm saying? She would buy me all the liquor in the world. Um, like and she was spoiling the fuck out of me. Like I wasn't doing nice. anything. Like I had her car all day. All she did was go and bring back money. Something if I wanted to go to the strip club, but I could. And I started to feel like a fucking pimp. Yeah, and I didn't like the way that felt. You know what I'm saying? Like I really didn't. Okay. I was like, because I understand. Like, because you're like, a man. Because yeah, he's falling head over heels, like for real. Yeah, and it's not that I don't got like a care in the world for this person or anything. I got like you. That. I'm like, this is not cool, man. Right. Like, he completely gonna crush this girl. You know what I'm saying? Because wow. you don't give a fuck. Let's for not real. go I mean, too I mean, far. She's I, a stripper. I, I, I mean, no. She's already no. Crushed. It was bad. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah she, true, true, true to that, but. 
but you know what I'm saying like that 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 good heart that that conscious c- kicked in right and I just couldn't do it and it was like a day and night thing it kind of had came up a little bit but something clicked like one day I'm like I just can't and I had to tell her and it was hard it was rough because I had to like rip the band-aid off you know what I'm saying it sucks doing that yeah and she didn't get it at first either you know what I'm saying yeah. I mean she got it but then she would act like a couple of days go by and she would think it was just the same thing like maybe it was a bad dream or something like that. right where she is right now, I'm sure she hates my guts. I remember one time, like she's over you. Yeah, yeah, but she is. But she, I know she was really. But she still hates you. She's over you, but she hates you. Yeah, she and she and she's well within her right. You know what I'm saying? But um, <coughs> but yeah, during that time, that lifestyle was just weird, man. It was just like, and and that was kind of a, I think a lot of shit was coming in a downward spiral there too. You know what I'm saying? I had too much free time. Yeah, all I had to do was just I was I had a, I had all the money in the world, but with the, well, not all the money in the world, but I, had, I know what you mean. I didn't have a need for shit, right? You know what I'm saying? And I was drinking, rolling, kicking it, just all day, all night. That was my that's what I just did. Just having fun for a living. I be forgetting, yeah, I, and you know, it's funny we having this conversation because this shit is like a. I wouldn't even thought about that unless we having this conversation. Yeah, now. I almost feel like I'm listening to somebody else talk about themselves. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Because that don't. Even, it's so far removed from my character now. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's funny, the things that you go through when you really look back. You shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I never really get to reflect on shit like that. But yeah, man, it was it, all that shit. Anything that you see, <coughs> all this surface shit, all this bling. I hate that word, man. I need a, people need a new word. There probably is a new word. I'm just not saying it. What's the? Um, well, we got we got young uh, uh, young man all here. Zara, uh, what's the new word for bling? All the all the drip, all the all, all the drip, and all the drip, all the flaunting, the stacks, and all this shit. As fake as most of it is, but even the ones that are actually have those things. All that shit, especially the ones who really have those things, for the most part. Some of them, the younger ones who really go as far as to own some of these things that mean nothing. Yeah. Are some of the most lost and most angry, most depressed, most lost. When that shit is just a good polish song for the world to see. And it's a reason that they go to those far of an extreme to be seen mm-hmm. so bad. What makes you want to do anything to the point that I'm going to p- tattoo permanently anything on my face? Now that shit I don't get. I think I pain. think no no but there's a, but the, but you know what it's so authentic though, and I I I feel a certain kind of way about it because it's a it's 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 past the cry for help it's a it's a it's it's a look what you it's a look at it it's so raw and it's so in your face under all that shit is a person under there crying for something man yeah oh there are most of these kids man and I hate that there's so many of them dying <clears throat> young because most of these people who is you got to be that hurt to want to scream that loud yeah and but but you got to be that faith driven to want a way out to be able to maneuver a way out of it even if it's f- that facade pushed you through there there was something behind that ego that pushed that ego out of that door somewhere up under that egotistical facade was a real spirit of a kid who wanted the fuck out and what happens too often is when they get out, it gets cut so short that they don't get a chance to even grow enough to realize that they're not all that shit in the first place. And and most of these people, if they got enough drive to get out that door, I'm going to believe that they're smart enough to figure out that what's really important too because it took a lot of balls and a lot of thinking, a lot of, a lot of accidental meditation even if it was to get to where you get to. Yeah. But you got to have a chance to blossom there. And if you get cut short, who knows what you could have been. You know what I'm saying? So I've never quick to judge nothing these little dudes do. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm rooting for them. You know what I I'm am saying? too. I do too. You know? So. I root for everybody. I right. root for success, man. Right. When I see somebody getting after it, like I might not love their stuff. Right. Exactly. But like I, I'm fascinated with, with, with 6 9 mm-hmm. Like I don't love his music. I right. don't listen to it. It's whatever. It's it's pretty awful lyrics i mean <laughs> what's that one all these faggots think i'm stupid i ain't stupid you're stupid it's like when you break it down when you write it down on I paper with the lyrics it's like oh my gosh dude that is so awful i couldn't quote a single word he's ever said i don't know one song yeah I, I, well, yeah but yeah, i'm just I mean, saying like <laughs> i'm not in, like he's not like a great 
lyricist or rapper, mm-hmm. but I'm still fascinated. And I watch his career, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, the shit that he's got going on right now yeah. is, you know, he might be going to prison for a long time. Right, we'll see. You know, you talk about tatted up and screaming for a cry for help. Mm-hmm. I mean, that dude is nothing but. Uh, he's got to be screaming, right? right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and 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 it's just like it. And it's a bunch of them. And even the ones who don't go to that extreme to uh, to do to do things musically for the shock value. It's a whole yeah. culture, the whole internet thing. The people, the the crazy shit people will do to try to go viral. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, it, it's it's a it's a whole brain fuck of this lost generation looking for anything to get noticed, no matter what the cost is. Yeah. A bad reputation is better than a, a, than not having one. Right. So you think. Yeah. Until you get that bad reputation. Yeah. And then you're another story in the news because you weren't even ready for that, and that's not what you was really looking for, but that's what's out there if you're just fishing. And yeah. these people don't have no guidance, so all the else you're gonna do besides go fishing. You got looking for something, and if nobody's there to guide you, yeah, it, everything that happened that's what I'm saying I'm so quick to I'm so I'm, people are so quick to judge right what people do <clears throat> the bad shit especially and, and, and I'm not pacifying these kids you know for the fucked up things that, that go on right or anybody for the fucked up things you do there's people that that feeling is not exclusive to an age bracket you know <laughs> that's for sure oh there's yeah people, there's grown ass men and women that feel that same way uh-huh. on the inside that's so so let's get that clear. It's just more prevalent in them because they're products of those adults who feel that way, and that's what they mirror. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what. And the, and the parents don't have Instagram. Boy, oh boy, if their parents had Instagram, you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, really, you know, like imagine if you and I had Instagram when we were in high school. Right, man. Oh shit. Man, yeah. I, I barely made it through without it. You know exactly. What I'm saying? We're AOL. Right. Yeah. AOL was treacherous, AOL, man. Yeah, dude. And all you had to do was. Yeah, my boy got catfish. I'm heavy in the AOL chat. With, with I used to, I used to, yeah, yeah. I got AOL stories, man. man. Growing up on that, way back in the day. Damn, damn, man. Dial you think up, about dude. that? Yeah, man. Kids don't know about that. Nope, they These don't. Days, they have no idea how I easy mean, they got it, it. It's funny too, like how far <clears throat> technology has gone so fast, so quickly, right? Like there was a point in time where everybody didn't even have a cell phone yet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And then it was a point in time where people had them, but it really wasn't a big deal. Yeah. You re- it was really some shit like, damn, you dealing with, you got unlimited minutes? Yeah. You got a what? Nah, man, my, call me after seven, dude. Yeah, you right. My free after seven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Who, that shit was big. Now we can't imagine life without it. You know what I'm saying? If you, but just we'll try to, rem- if you could, rem- just think if you could just jump back into you in like 19. Not even gonna go back that far. Let's go jump back to you in 1997, wherever you were in 1997. I can rem- I can picture right where I am. And in then 97. just turn on the TV and you're watching. No, no, yeah, the fuck turning on the TV. You can't go to the TV. So imagine somebody walking you over to the computer that looks weird now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or even if the computer looks just like your computer looks right now in 1997, but somehow you push the button. Oh, oh if we're going to go that far. We can call it a TV. You push the button right now, and they see me talking to somebody on this thing, letting everybody know we're right here, right now, and they're looking at it, and this is how we do it. And they're like, what the hell is that going on? Right. Like, oh, what? They're just on podcast. We got this one. <laughs> you would be like, you would think that you were in Mars. And, yeah. And, and, in like a whole faraway galaxy somewhere, you right? Know you woke saying? up in a whole other universe. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. You would already, you would already be confused a little bit. You used to say you was woke up in nineteen ninety seven. That's just ninety seven. That's what I'm saying. The nineteen ninety seven. That ain't that long you, ago. Even better than that. The nineteen ninety seven. You woke up now. Yeah. And you oh, went yeah. outside. The cars would look different enough. But right. You'd be like, what the fuck is up with these cars? But they're still noticeable enough. And you enough. still drive it. Yeah, but as soon as you seen whoever you were living with come through the house. Talking on this at thing, their phone, yeah, yeah, yelling at it and screaming <laughs> at it, and somebody else is on it, and they turn around and like they're watching the news instead of what you're looking. Like you would, I mean, <clears throat> that's even. First of all, what is that thing in your hand? Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a so crazy how much further along that we are. Yeah, in such a short span of time. So all this bullshit that we see these kids doing the form that they're doing it now is really just never had a chance to be so prime time. And since the and since when it happened with them, is in this growth spurt, they are way more advanced than we were 
because time wasn't right. moving as fast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It oh, takes yeah. a long time to get from 1997 to there. <laughs> now it don't take so long to get from 2018 to get to 2000. By the time we're in 2022, this shit is going to look like, what the fuck were they doing? This and and you know right. what I'm saying? And that's only going to be a few years from now. Yeah. You know? So shit's just evolving quicker. And that's no different. You know what I'm saying? So just enough of that. But as far as the, like the music scene, I like what the kids are doing. When yeah. they get an actual chance to do it, if they when they get a chance to grow with it, I'll be I, I, I I'll, I'll say it more like this: even the stuff that I don't get, that I kind of got an ear to, even if it's not my shit, because I'm not gonna just roll around to the shit just because I'm rooting for you. Know what I mean, I, I don't gotta listen to that. That's shit. what I'm saying about six nine. I'm rooting yeah. for dudes like that. Right. I might not like it, but hey, man, right. get your money. But I'm interested to see where these guys are, the ones who do last, because some of these guys are gonna last. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Some of them are gonna be here. Who? I don't know. That remains to be seen. You know what I'm saying? But there's some guys that are hot right now. We don't know. Yeah. But but who? But but, but we're gonna see. I want to see that guy who has the longevity. Mm-hmm. Those guys, because it's gonna be a it's few. It's rare. Other ones. It's rare. Uh, yeah, it, it is rare. But there's, there's some in every generation. Yeah, you're you, right. You There'll be some that evolve. I want to see what they look like then. Yeah. I'm interested to see that. Yeah. I'm I'm interested in being a part of that group. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. like I said, I realize that we're not that far away from removed from the group that I'm talking about. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're in that weird paradigm between. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we got we and we can really we can feed off of that, but don't, but they can actually learn from us because we were just right there. Do they want to learn? Are they willing to learn? Is that kind you know of what? Thing? I think they would. I think they would be more willing to learn than we think they would be. Yeah. But we're so busy talking about how bad that they are. How trash yeah. the music is that they cover right. the chip of the shoulder. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're usually getting bullied when somebody come around, you don't know how to take it if somebody coming to help you. They're trying to tell me what to do. Or they trying to what? What are you even on? Right. You, you don't. You're not even open to it. But there's some guys who, given the opportunity, I think would be like, who don't want. To, listen, if somebody got something good to tell you, and you know it's good, good to tell you. I don't care who it is. Yeah. Be a, let's mark out arch enemies and people who done harmful things to you if anybody comes to you with, with straight up good advice and you know the chance of good advice you're like man fuck that fuck you and if you're that kind of person you don't deserve the good advice in the first place <laughs> but there's nobody who you know for sure is good advice is not going to take it or somebody right. or you know somebody's really coming and trying to give you something that might work for you if you really think that's what they're trying to really do you'll listen to it yeah you might take it you might not you know what i'm saying but if this person who's approaching <clears throat> you you is this dude really coming to, to tell me something? Or is he coming here to just be like one of these dudes who think they know everything? You know, when you're already doing like this before somebody even, you know what I'm saying? That's right. what, you've already decided. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? By that time, you've already decided. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of these guys are kind of backed up, sure. back to the wall. I can understand that. So they yeah. don't get the opportunity. But somebody has to be, we're too cool to say, to make, to, we're, too, we're too cool to do this. Like, on a platform, right? Where I can just be talking about just myself, yeah. And I'm because I'm still getting on, and I'm not and I'm not here to you know co-sign for nobody. So I'm kind of glad I don't know these people's name individually <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I'm talking about them as a collective. You know what I'm saying? Right, I got gotcha. you. So on the platform, of somebody who's in a position, I don't think any of them are any more talented to me, or that they're up. And that's not even for that's not to judge. What? Who cares? Right. It's all a part of the same collective creativity. But I'm just here to say that I, I'm rooting for it. Yeah, I like it, and I, I like what you're doing. I like th- I like that you're doing it. Sure, you know what I'm saying. So w- let's see what you got. We'll see. You know what I'm saying. One day we will meet. If you're doing it like I'm gonna be doing, it, one day we will meet. You know what I'm saying. Because Might I'm even gonna, work together. Yeah, because I'm gonna go where I'm gonna go. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, it goes up from here. You know Hell what I'm yeah. saying. So we'll see. I'm, I'm glad I got you now before you blew up. Yeah, man. I'm glad I got got too. <laughs> You know, I'm just glad that somebody heard it and liked it for real. You know what I'm saying? That's what I dig about this whole thing. Like, like I said, this shit came from nowhere. Yeah. It literally came from out the sky. It did. You know what I'm saying? The music created itself, and now we're here. Here we are. This is yeah, fantastic. I, I wrote something. I'm, I'm just gonna switch gears for a minute. Like uh, I said, I've been writing everything in my little notebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, the demonstration, the song. Mm-hmm. You got great. You got a buzz off of kind buds. That's a dimethyltryptamine type of mind fuck. Your time's up. I love it. Oh yeah, <laughs> DMT guy, are you? Yeah, no. Nah, I, I mean, uh, I, where's that reference come from? I mean, I'm just very studied. You know what I mean? You've st- you studied up about it. Yeah, I read into a lot of shit. Just a little bit more, you know, 
esoteric the word yeah uh, you know i'm into that type of realm of thinking period me too so i'm intrigued by something that could take you to somewhere like that you know what i'm saying so mm-hmm. i'm not saying that i'll ever do it you know what i'm saying but you know i wouldn't say you know i, I you feel like say I, this, this is what i say like this and i say this faithfully too Bef- especially beforehand i always had like a pretty lucid type of dreaming pattern you know where the dream was so real that I you could control I it heard, yeah i realized i was dreaming in the dream you know what i'm saying like i, I love that, that. Long time. oh that's the best yeah you know what i'm saying it happened it used to happen other sleep shit that was crazy that was bad but that wasn't so but that was scary as fuck for a long time too the lucid dreaming was hell yeah it was scary then like sometimes like it would be like i was awake and i was all the way awake but i couldn't move i couldn't sit up and like i couldn't and, like sometimes but i have a whole different perspective of the room Dang. and the room that's some whole other crazy shit but anyway no so but anyhow but when i when <coughs> that on top of liquor and do sleeps <laughs> They got more like of an astral type of projection type of thing. Sure. Uh, you know, and some people don't believe in that shit, but you, if it happened to you, you know what I'm saying? So when I found out about what that drug was, I don't know how I ended up finding out about it. Yeah, that's out, a weird one to just randomly yeah, find. Yeah, it found out about me somehow. It, that's it, that's it, funny. Right, and it, it, but it reminded me of that. It was the closest thing I could relate to it. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. So I, I listened to all kind of shit about it, you know what I'm saying? And But, but just my whole... Like you, you can go through like my Facebook or not my Facebook, my YouTube memory, and you can start to type in DM and it already be up on my <laughs> top listen and there'll be so much shit that I was watching <clears throat> about it. You right. Know what I'm saying I'm into that type of shit, and then I'm also like next to that I'll be people think I'm typing in my own name, Alan Wayne. I'm typing in Alan Watts. I listen to anything he's. Oh, ever, cool. Anything he's ever said, you know what I'm saying? He changed my fucking life. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a more of a people call it an Eastern philosophy. I just think it's just a different way. of thinking about it what everybody else is trying to figure out you know what i'm saying so the dmt thing is just like (coughs) dmt is the drug that it seems to be that's like a it's like almost proof in a capsule or proof in a drink or proof in however you uh take it it's the closest thing to like leaving this to go into a different realm for real and coming on back you know what i'm saying like and right I think that's pretty ill like people say you know like i've always known people who've a lot of my mexican friends you know they dibble to dabble in lsd and they're like yo this was so trippy i'm like no nah, dude your brain's just on acid <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know what i'm saying that's not that you're, just, you're not you're right there tripping when you what you're going through, we, we're watching you go through it. <laughs> nothing's on this wall. You're about this. <laughs> nothing's Nothing melting. That, nothing is. You know right. what I'm saying? It's, yeah, it's, yeah. A different, it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. more interesting. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah. But, or, who, or would I? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Well, I, was, I really yeah. like that. But, but it's a cool reference. I'm glad you caught it. Um, I don't think many people are going to catch it. Really? And I used to really stifle my music like that. Okay. Like I'm thinking uh, you're. Yeah. Like I. Like, yeah. Like I'm overthinking this. I don't want to use that word. You know what I'm saying? People won't understand. Yeah, yeah I I'm, gotcha. I'm done with that shit. You know Good. What I'm saying? And I'm glad that that's kind of like a. I don't need validation, but I like that you caught that line. Though. I love that line, man. That's yeah. that's really. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, and even I believe Rob Rebecca knows everything about everything. Yeah. <laughs> He really didn't know exactly what I was talking about either. I kind of made me feel like I trumped him a little bit. Nice. Yeah, maybe it's maybe saying in his world, you know what I'm saying? Right. But, <coughs> but yeah. Yeah, I assume maybe you did it with, you know, most people yeah. who kind of. And I didn't just use it because it was a cool word to rap. Either. No, when you follow what what you're saying, it's yeah, dope. Yeah. It's the, it's That's what I like about your music. You don't just say stuff to put stuff together. Yeah. You actually. Yeah, I try to paint. I try to paint with the words mm-hmm. a little bit, man. Yeah. And what's really cool, like I listen, I listen to a lot of different stuff, um, but what's really cool about listening to like local, local music in general, mm-hmm. but especially hip hop because they're always shouting out where they're at. You know, where like you've got one about where you're walk, you know, you're in dreadlocks walking down truth. truth. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> like that kind of stuff is awesome. It's like I love, yeah. Who doesn't know Troost? Right. You know, there's a good uh, Jamaican place. Yeah, Jamaican G's. Yeah. That's my first, that was my first, man, the synchronicity in this place has been crazy. Jamaican G's <laughs> is kind of where I got my first taste. 
I got my first taste in high school, you know what I'm saying, like on a, a talent show. That's really when the shit cr- cracked off. That's how I should have answered earlier. When did I start rapping? I really started rapping, like, okay, this is where I was going to be at doing this, even after kind of doing it at the same time Dave had kind of made that offer the first time. I was fucking around in school. And I was in drama class. I was dope in drama too, man. I was I was behind the scenes, dude, writing the plays up and shit with a couple of other guys and shit in there. My yeah. boy Aaron, he was tight. He was tight. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, we'd be fucking around rapping. I was about to get kicked out of school that year. I ended up did get kicked out of Lincoln for a year. I I went back, but uh, so shit. They had a talent show coming up, and I was always skipping class and to be in her class because it was like I felt at home in her class and shit. She was like, okay, well, since you're going to be in this classroom, I'll let you stay. I'm not going to write to you. I'm not going to tell you anything, but you're going to do this talent show. Oh, yeah. You're going to do that shit that you come in here and do all day. <laughs> you're going to do it on stage. Good so, for her. So I was like, oh, okay, all That's right. That's cool. All right. I said, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'll do it. Cause, thank God, for some reason, I didn't. I learned this a long time ago, but I, I, did, I never had it. I don't think I had the best. Like, I don't know how I was going to do in here. You know what I'm saying? But I've never had stage fright or nothing like that. So I wasn't afraid when she told me, like, well, I don't care, be, but what the fuck am I going to say? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So me and a couple of other dudes who, we, who I was in their class where we came up with this shit. You know what I'm saying? And there was three of us. My boy went first. I was in the middle. And then all the partner was supposed to go last. Then I had another little part at the end. I was, I was, I was the best, so I got two parts. Right. That's what I always say to myself. <laughs> we were all equal. But anyhow, so my boy got off. He he starts off when we were finally there. It's time. It's gymnasium. Or the auditorium is packed as shit. It's all kind of shit going on. Little mini plays. Girls are doing drill team shit. Poetry. Corny shit. All kind of shit. Somebody doing jokes. So it's our turn. And my boy kicks it off. And, you know. We're kind of we're, we're in enough, so we, nobody's gonna boo us off or anything like that. Yeah. We're cool enough, you know. What right. I'm saying? So, you know, he's going in. People are like really digging it though. You know what I'm saying? So he goes. Then it's my turn, and I snap off with that. Let's talk about sex. Everybody want to, you know. I go in, uh-huh. and they go nuts. Like, yeah. Lose it like loud, crazy loud to the point that when my partner came out after me. He fucked up because he was off the beat. He couldn't hear the beat. Anymore. Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they, before we fucked with him a little bit for that. He, uh. he made it up. We did another talent show. Not, we did another something, little performance afterwards. He came back hard. But, uh, but yeah, but after that, and I was already known for the guy who kind of rapped in the hallway. It was, it was a couple of guys at the, in the school who were kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's what we did. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I was one of the ones. You right, know what right. I'm saying? I got you. Another guy. We were really ones. You right. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Brandon, we were the ones and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but after that happened, it went. It was different. I was like, nah, this shit right here. You know what I'm saying? I want to do this shit live. Like, you know, I got the performance bug up. I hadn't, right. I hadn't, I hadn't recorded. It must be a hell of a high. Yeah, man, it is. It's his own high, and I hadn't rec- caught the recording bug yet because I hadn't recorded yet for real. Kind of, sort of, but not for real. Recorded like in the capacity that we did. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. that shit hit me. I was like, okay. Yeah, that's a buzz. Like that's what it was, cause I wasn't tripping on the, the yeah, I, I liked that fanfare too. I ain't go front, but it was more the the adrenaline rush was, it was like it, it felt exactly like that first drop on on the roller coaster back. in Remember the Orient Express? Yeah, yeah, the Orient yeah, Express. It felt yeah. like the first drop on the Orient <laughs> Express and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was really, it was about the the thrill of the ride. It wasn't so much the 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 you know the the Jeffin and shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. And the the yo, that's how you know that was tight too. But it was more so that I wanted that feeling, I wanted that rush. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's Hell how yeah. I got it. And then I started doing it all the time after that. I was always rapping after that. And then I was the guy who was always rapping. You just know chasing that <coughs> rush, just wanting <coughs> right. to get on more stuff. Yeah, it just went, but it hadn't formulated yet. Now I'm just, I was always that guy. Now I wasn't in class anymore. I'm, now I'm really in the halls rapping. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got kicked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but yeah, man, that's how that's how I really got real, yeah, authentic right there. I got off subject again. What was the original question that led us there? I don't know. I think you were on subject. I think we're good. Okay. Um, so so after like the talent show, what's kind of what's kind of the path to get to 
pursuing being a rapper? Like, or do you do like do you jump into the battle rap scene for a little bit, or do you just try to make your own songs and sell them out of your trunk? Well, I don't like, know. I mean, like, what's? I mean, it's there's different time, avenues, it, right? It is a long time between that and then to actually have be having a product. In the t- in the meantime, in but like that whole journey, that's a yeah, beautiful journey. What's I, that? It was it, it was it was really. I didn't say at that point that uh. Oh yeah, I got this bud. This bud is dope. I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna record this CD. I'm gonna make an sure. album. I'm gonna put this shit out, and this is what's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna be this guy. I'm gonna put this, this. None of that shit was formed. It was just this. I'm gonna be a rapper. Yeah. That's all it was. And all I'm gonna do is rap. So that's all I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. all I'm fucking gonna do. You know. Yeah. Uh, when you're 16, uh, 17, yeah. 18, whatever, that's like you don't so, think anything. Like all I want to do is so, yeah. So by doing that all the time. I kind of end up hanging around other guys who kind of felt the same way. That always leads to somewhere else. Right. And I already had an avenue kind of created before I had decided that because, like I said, Dave had already kind of put that bug in my ear anyhow. So I, I still was so much like I'm, I'm, I hadn't even put those two pieces together all the way yet. I'm just, I'm just rapping every day. Yeah. I done formed a I done made myself a group. I'm like, listen, dude, my boy Devin, he was good. Yeah. My boy Devin, we had, my, my first little rap group, Phenomenon, me and uh, Prodigy and Epidemic. Shout out to Devin, but uh, and he was dope. He actually got off into some battle shit later on. Like he never pursued it after, like when I was doing it. But he kind of flopped his ass and started battling dudes. And he was eating people up. You nice. know what I'm saying? So he could do it if he wanted to. He just don't. He he's into other ventures. You right. know what I'm saying? He's a very driven person, but he's into other shit. Um, but anyhow, I was I but I just basically like dude. We're in a group. Yeah, we're doing this. You're doing it too. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, passing. He was like, "All right, fuck it. Yeah, we doing it." Yeah, you know let's what I'm do saying? He, he can't say no. He doesn't have a choice. My boy right. had bought a, uh, uh, had saved up to get a little beat machine. I'm like, yep, yeah, you're the producer, dude. We were like, Tim, I don't know if shit was really good or not. I think it was okay. I really do think yeah. it was. But whether it was or not, we was like, yeah, fuck it. These beats are we have. ours. We don't know anything about how to make this go from this thing to where it can be played eventually somewhere. That part, part ain't even there. We're going to rap. We're going to come. You're going to push play on that machine, and we're going to rap over this thing <laughs> over and over and over yeah. and over again. We perform it for our fucking selves. We're freestyling all night long. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just... And then next thing I know, instead of going to college, I said, I'm going to do this. And then I had Shatter Silence. It almost feels like that's how it happened. So, you know what I'm saying? It happened slow, but it happened so fast for that first project to come out. Yeah. All of a sudden, I had studio time. You know, and it's not, and it was it's so much not like that, but but it's it just it's all like a not it's it's all condensed because it was it was a quick ride. We were kids. We were like fuck it. We graduated high school. And then by <laughs> the time that next year came right. around, we had the disc out. That over that summer. By the time kids was going back to school, we had music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. We just put some shit out there. How right. we did, we don't know. We just did it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, and uh, and it worked. It didn't go. It didn't do anything that it was supposed to do. <laughs> Nothing that it could have did. And for for the for the kids, there's still people who love that album. I hate to let people hear it. Really? I will come to a point in time where I don't care what people hear. But it's too. I'm too far beyond that, and I'm too new to most people. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, you want you yeah. want a well polished gem yeah. out there for people yeah. to so, check out right now. So I got gotcha. you. There's people who listening who who have those because a lot of people have that album, and right? I, and, and I get calls about it. Even uh, you know, I get a lot of shit through my emails and other shit requesting that album. And then people who have it are like post it sometimes and leak it out. And I love that because I was just a kid and I'm like, damn, they got that shit. But at the same time, I'm like, please, <laughs> if you're listening, please stop <laughs> doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> hold on to it. It's going to be worth something someday. I swear to God, it'll be worth something. We'll let the world hear it together. You can still be the first one up on it. You know what I'm saying? But And that's when you're going to get all the hits. Yeah. When yeah. you're big, release that shit. Yeah, people, release that shit later when he's huge. That's when you'll... That's when everybody will benefit. Yeah, man. And uh, and yeah, but I, but I don't mean that to be. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. People will be like, "Well, why are you talking about it like that right now? Like, you should just be grateful." Like, I know, I know, I'm not big shit. Where I sit right now, 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? But right. where I sit right now is not gonna be. I'm not gonna be any different from where I'm gonna be seated at. You know what I'm saying? It's I, it is now. I just not. I'm just not there yet. You know what I'm saying? But it is. If I can feel it, you know what I'm saying. It, so who's to say it ain't? You know. So I'm not saying it ain't. So you know. I'm saying when you do get big, will you come on my show? I will come on your show next week if you want me to. Come yeah. Back, you know what I'm saying? Hell you know, yeah. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you all day, all night. That's you know what, what I'm saying? talking about. Yeah, man. We don't yeah. Make we make family members. You know what I'm saying? For real. Fuck yeah. Hell I yeah. appreciate it, man. Hell that yeah. means a lot to me. Man. From the bottom. Yeah. But for real, when you get big, don't forget we mm-hmm. just fist bumped over that. <laughs> on everything, man. I'm going to shout you out every time I get Hell a chance. Oh, yeah. That's cool, man. Hell yeah. I wish I knew how to do some of that uh, Instagram stuff. I don't know how to do shit with social media at Man. all. But I love Instagram. And yeah. I do love it. Yeah. Like, I try to put my little stuff out there, but then I see the little videos. And there's another local 100 Records. Mm-hmm. You knew, you know? I don't know them, but I see them on there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got some cool stuff they always do, too, where he's got, like, a little cartoon face doing yeah, the rap. Some of those guys are really good. Like, I don't... You got some cool stuff. Whatever you did this morning was cool. I mean, like, I just... I said I'm a, I got to, you know what I'm saying? It got to get <laughs> done, you know what I'm saying? And I just had to figure it out. And I, like you said, like I'm telling you, you see how quick it's growing, the Instagram. I don't know, know how that? you did it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You see how quick that's growing. Yeah. Um, I'm stuck. I'm stuck at 180 it, or something. Like like when this time last year, even, I, I might have had a 1,000 maybe yeah or close to it but those were mostly people who i really took over from facebook my facebook doesn't do anything my facebook yeah. is, I've, I've dedicated i realized what facebook is you have to come in the door a certain kind of way with facebook my facebook started off too much family and friends oh, yeah God, i can't convert it, it nobody cares you yeah know yeah saying? i get way more love when they see me and my godson you know what i'm saying than i do when i put something and, and rightfully right so because yeah. it, it is more friends and family yeah and i and i realized like i wouldn't want to see this shit all the time from dude who man you know like I, it's a time and place for everything. So I got you. Only time I share that when I do share those things over there, I do I t- hashtag this is what's going on on Instagram. I only right. put shit on Facebook about music that is shared through Instagram because that's yeah. where my hub is. But I say all that to say this: I don't know how I did it, but I know right. I tried. I know I did it on purpose. Sure. I looked up something that led to me knowing when to post shit. Oh, you know really? What I'm saying and and then one thing led to it's like anytime you dig a hole. All you got to do is start the hole. If you keep digging in that hole, the hole's going to get deeper and deeper and deeper. And so if I had to start back from scratch and tell you everything I did to get to here now, I would be stumped as I was before I started the first time. I, so yeah. I don't know exactly step for step, but I do yeah. know that I just start, started digging a hole. And I dig a conscious hole like I'm doing this. And then all of a sudden, it's like I had I used to tend to it so hard. And I still do. Like I do every day. Like Even when I don't post I'm tending to what's going on on there, and right. if I'm not posting because I'm too busy to really just put something out, and I try not to just, I'm not gonna just put a selfie out there. That's <laughs> not what, if I if I was to do something like that, if I wasn't that fly my ass to do that, that's what I would put over there on uh on Facebook or some shit like that. Even like when you gave me a little shit about the, the shirt off shit. <laughs> Even when I do that type of yeah. shit, right? I'll still have music. My shit will be I heard it. Yeah, yeah, it. I know. And then my logo will come up behind that's it. That's what it's, I love. I love that. Still thing, yeah. always, uh, uh, that's that's where you come find Alan Wayne, the prodigy. Yeah. You're not going to find very much Alan Williams. That's my last name. You know what I'm saying? Alan Wayne Williams. That's my name. You okay. Know what I'm saying? They know me. Fuck it. I can say my government because it's on Facebook and they won't let me fucking erase it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't understand it. But, uh, right. But yeah, but that's not, I don't cross, I don't cross those worlds very often okay. anymore. But, I just said I'm gonna do that. Now all people are like, you know, there's a lot going on on YouTube. It's, you know, you should jump into YouTube and this, I'm not done with this Instagram thing yet. You know right. what I'm saying? So I can't, I, and, and what people got on YouTube, you know, it's just not, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm putting attention, basically I'm putting a lot, I'm paying attention to what this, when this grows into something else, it'll, it'll be because it started at Instagram. I really, okay, got, yeah. I really got to say that, you know what I'm That's saying? Cool. I, I never thought I would say that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's, why not though? Real. I mean, it's huge. It's one of the most used apps. Yeah, man. Americans use or yeah. probably the world uses. Yeah. And the people say, yeah, Instagram rapper. Nobody's ever called me that before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, but I've seen that. I've, I've seen other people say that about people. Well, it's it, a it, bad it, thing. No, no, it's, you, no it's, it's, it, they say it as a bad they thing. They say it is a bad thing, but it's really a jealous thing when they say. Oh yeah, haters it. You know what hate. I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, but but people with that mind frame, 
or where they are, but, and that's why they are because they. Well, they who are them. they? Like, who's saying, "Oh, Instagram"? Yeah. What? Who, it, what it, are it, they? What kind of person? Up, is saying the, that? People who make excuses for why they're not moving along like they are, right? Will find well, yeah, yeah. blame it on, especially things moving in another direction. That's my point. Like like some dude that's stuck, right? And they'll do that thing over and over and over again, yeah, and expect a different outcome. And then complain about the hole that they keep falling in. Well, that hole down that same street, you keep walking down that hole. Mm-hmm. The same street with that hole in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, right, that, right. And then you keep walking straight. <laughs> and then what you do sometimes, you walk towards that. Sh- I, I, I'm, I'm not plagiarizing, but I heard somebody describe it like this. Then you say, okay, I'm walking down the street with the fucking hole in it, but I'm going to walk around the edge. Well, that's a big <laughs> ass hole, man. And the <laughs> sides are narrow. Eventually, you're going to fall down that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the next time you go down that street, you're going to try to catapult over it. I'm going to really I'm gonna do this like we're going to do it. Then when we get that, we're going to do it like that. Right. Then you try to leap over that hole. Then you ain't, you, your leap ain't that strong. <laughs> you, you jump de- deep in the hole. That's when most people give up. When all you got to do, get back up, it's okay. Just take another fucking street. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, like right. you can still get there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just get off of your shit. Your street is the wrong street. But all you gotta do is back up. People love that street, and man. Look. They're used to it. Yeah, man. It's comfortable. They're comfortable, yeah. Right. And and you know, expansion is uncomfortable. Yeah. It's uncomfortable for me to do this. Not uncomfortable for me to do this. This is uh, there's no place I'd rather be. There's no place I would not uh, no, for real. Appreciate it. But in the scope of the world that I live in, mm-hmm. where I'm supposed to, you know, punch a clock or tend to things that are not irrelevant but not important right now, right? As expectations from others and shit like that, and 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 societal expectations. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just every. No, I'm not, not not nothing that's exclusive to me. Just things that life entail when you're trying to be an entrepreneur in the middle comes and they they, they clash and they, they find right. it. So the struggle, when I say it's a struggle, is because now this is there's no place I'd rather be. And that was always the case. Yeah. It's always no place I'd rather be. But the my the difference is before there would have been an excuse or a reason that turned into a, an excuse that turned into a reason that would have prevented me from being there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the struggle is for things around me to adjust to the fact that there's no place that I'd rather be than doing music, and that's all I'm going to do. And either you're with it or you're against it. Yeah. And just that whole brain, and that whole way of thinking about things in life, period, when you really got faith in yourself and you step out on what, what, yeah. what doesn't seem to make sense to a lot of people on the surface, which it shouldn't because it doesn't make sense to a lot of people. And they won't understand it because it's not for them to understand. Are you ever embarrassed is the wrong, maybe insecure about talking about it to some people? No, I, I, no, not any longer. Yeah, you used to be? But I used to be. Yeah. But you know what, though? I don't talk about it very much still. Yeah. But if it comes up, we can talk about it. I don't okay. avoid it at all. Right. It doesn't, but I don't force it to come up. But when it does come up, there was a point in time where I would skirt it. I would make sure that it didn't come up unless it was my intention to kind of. And then when I did let it come up, since I wasn't sure about how it was going to be when it came up, yeah. it probably was coming up weird. Sure. You know what I'm saying? I, got you. I, I was always like scared to let people hold my, my, my kid. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Now, to the point that I didn't want you to even see my kid necessarily. And if I did let you see it, it was kind of, you want to look at my kid a little bit? You know what I'm saying? That's my kid. You know what I'm saying? Like it, was, it, was a, it wasn't natural. Yeah. So now, you can see my kid, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, I don't just take my kid around everywhere. With me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got you. And my old lady said that. You know what I'm saying? When I, like when a, when a, and you said something about it's not their baby. All this shit is right. like synchronicity, right? <laughs> and that's what I, I used that. And I was like, I was, because I was getting really like discouraged is the word, I guess. I hate to use that word because it was not. I wasn't feeling discouraged. I was in a state of discouragement. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I do, yeah. And, um, cause my, the videos that I was pushing so much pe- pressure on wasn't formulating like I wanted them to. And I was just like, this is not, it's not being taken as seriously as I am. Because this is like my, this is like my baby, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. My, like my baby and like, they don't understand. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is my baby. She, you know what I'm saying? She was like, well, 
You gotta take some credit for that. You know, I don't just look. And I'm like, you know, I, I made a reference because we got, we have a child. You know what I'm saying? Like, just my stepdaughter. You know, what I'm saying? we're not married and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it, that's the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I do. In paradigm of Western civilization, I, I don't like to get all deep off into that shit. But anyway, I was just like. I take it just as important as the only thing I compare it is to how you will be protected with Jordan. Like that's yours. That's all you got. Like you say it all the time. That's all you got. I'm like, this is all I got. This is all yeah. I fucking got. And, I, and I'm, you know, what I'm saying, and, and people don't understand. That this is like they might be cool, but this is literally all I got. It's just like your kid. And she was like, "Well, I don't let everybody play with my kid." <laughs> and it's like, boom, it's my bad. you know what I'm saying? And, but it was so it it took a burden off my chest because then I knew. Yeah. It, it it put it, it put the mistake in a box instead of it being just a cascade of shit all in my life i was able to take <clears> that compartmentalize it put it up so okay that's what that was lesson learned just shelf that keep it moving and just know and and, and full speed ahead and everything that i was so worried about the buzz not growing I mean, it's supposed to be building my buzz up. You know, that's the only reason i'm tripping i'm not like i said i'm not like somebody who needs to be super duper seen yeah, but, but you have to be seen. You can't just you those the, the culture calls for this right now. Right. So I was just so dead on, like, man, I need to grow my audience because the, the audience grows, then the love grows because the music is lovely. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm yeah. so dead ass on it, like, you know how much I could have grown, how much I could have grown if I would have had that. Is what I kept beating myself up about. But when I let it go, like you said, this last couple of months, the growth is like pow. Right. It happened anyway. So let go. Get out your way and let God. If you don't have faith, you can't struggle. You can't strangle the shit out your faith. You gotta let your faith breathe. I was strangling it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so now to say that to say this, I don't have a problem with talking about my music. I don't talk about it, and I only avoid talking about it if I think that you may possibly have a derailing opinion. The reason that is because I don't give a fuck what you say about what I do. Right. But I'm very fragile about what I let come in my ears. Oh yeah. Because my subconscious don't really have a sense of humor. So if you if I'm letting you feed anything of doubt in my <clears throat> eardrums and my brain hears that and doesn't know how to translate that, if I got I don't have time to coach your negativity out of my brain. Okay. Cuz I can cause I can push your bullshit out, but I'd rather not spend the energy pushing out your negative energy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I will not lend my if I put myself in that position, than me having to do the cleanup work to get myself back on track. I gotcha. If it happens to derail me, right. then that's my bad. And I'm gonna do it, because nothing's gonna stop this circus. Yeah. But I'd rather- But why have that detour? Yeah, you, but what, what, yeah. Could I, what could I have done? Yeah. I'm not that creative of a, of a tech junkie to come up with some of the kind of cool things I do on Instagram. That shit takes, what, I can probably, what people probably do, people probably take them like 16 seconds to do that shit. Right. Man, I got to do that shit. I got to carve out some time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it takes time for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could have been doing that. But instead, I got to remind myself why I don't even fucking talk to people like you that often. Nothing. There's nothing wrong with people like you. You people run the world, and you ought to. You're in a white position. people. Is that no, what no, no. Not not white people. Pessimistic people. Period. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, no. White people are cool. some of the coolest people ever. They're some yeah, of the most some pessimistic of the, people. Some too. of the worst people. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah it's yin and yang with everything. Everything. You know, all people. All people, all people are good. People all people are, are bad. Yeah. People rock fuck and people. people suck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, people fucking people suck. I know what I meant to say. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> but, Everyone's uh, down. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, man, I just rather not entertain the possibility of negative energy. I yeah. used to just walk because I got control over this now. I used to just go on autopilot, like just go, let's get up and go, let's see where the day takes me. Let's, yeah. let's do this. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be motivated. I'm yeah. gonna be kick ass. I'm gonna keep on every day. I'm gonna do some music shit. I had that brain frame, but I'm like, wherever this day takes me to, we're gonna go there. We're gonna make music relate to it. I gotta st start doing more shit. But 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 now I'm just not that whimsical. Yeah. Now I'm like, okay. Did you YouTube a bunch of stuff to figure out how to kind of? I did. I, I, is that I, like when you were digging yeah, your yeah, hole? Well, yeah, I started there. I started Googling shit. Yeah. And trying to read shit. Then I realized, you know, I love to read books, but I don't like to read digital Probably shit. Worst. Yeah. So like, I'm like, boom, let me listen to this. You know what I'm saying? And I caught enough. And, I, you know, and I'm one of those, I want to learn on my, on my own. Because right. I don't, 
I think my own way. You know what I'm saying? I'm the same some way. People, some people call it dyslexia. Some people, I just think I just think different than you. You know? Um, like, yeah, I'm the same way. Like that's how I, I had to learn how to do this entire podcast from from turn from learning how to turn this thing on. I can never even know how to do right, that. Right, exactly. I'm, and I'm that guy with this Instagram thing. I, I can I, tell. I, that's why I'm so interested. Yeah, that's why like, I'm, I'm like I think my boy John had to tell me how to even get an Instagram page that would let me convert. I had to turn my Facebook into a business page. All this, all that other shit. Oh, okay. I, I didn't know how to do any of that yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't know. I barely shit. had a Facebook page. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was it was weird. You know what I'm saying? It was, I'm just glad I wasn't present back then because weird shit was, it was just weird, man. Uh, when I was trying to do it back then, even the little attempts that I was doing, I was right. doing it way wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, so I say that to say this was the first little piece of thing that I found out about. I'm not sure if it was really the best advice or good advice or bad advice, but yeah. I have seen a tip. Don't even really know what that tip was. I think it was about the time of day or something. Probably. That sounds, I'm, something, I, I've always been something, curious something if there's to that effect. A, a right time of day, like so, a, a prime time. So I just did it. Like I didn't take time. to. I don't know how long. That was probably like a 15-minute video. I got to a stopping point like in that video like in two minutes. You know, I can sit there and listen to my my lectures and shit for hours on end. But when from, this is a know how video. Let me pause this here and go just get started. Yeah. So I'm, let me let me toggle back and forth. I can't really toggle on this one. So I found something. I told me something. I did it. I tried it and I waited. I think it kind of worked a little bit. Maybe you know what I'm saying. And then I just kept on kind of doing that to the point that now I just got this patchwork of shit that I do. Yeah. And I spent more time trying to polish up what I was presenting. That took up way more time than anything. And then I kind of went back to what I was doing, kind of just trying to find out shit to do, same way, kind of started from scratch on that. But now I got a better, I know how to make a better presentation, so I don't look like I'm just some goofball with a phone. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I don't want to make it look like I got somebody else producing these videos for gotcha. Instagram or something like that. Like this is this a is Broadway me. production. Yeah. I don't want it to seem like it's unorganic, but I don't want it to sit. I won't. I'm a creative person. I really put some of that polish on there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you see what we doing. You know what I'm saying? And I would love to have somebody who had a cooler idea to help me post these things, but I don't. So I got gotcha. you. Do it. You right. Know, do it. But I think that I just scratched enough people's surfaces where that eventually it started sharing itself. That's the only thing I could really attribute it to more so than anything because I don't tend to it as often as far as digging for tips. Not to say that I won't, right? You know what I'm saying? If this grows, I gotta grow with it. But as far as how it's growing right now, I'm kind of just sitting back and posting shit. Yeah. And now it's just half. I think I might have just uh, maybe I'm on now. As far as the Instagram thing, if it's it hasn't came to a stalemate, you know what I'm saying? If right. I, if I see my shit stack or go backwards, I'm still not at a point where I'm just seeing this point that I can still see the exact number of people following me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't know how it looks from the outside looking in. It must be fun. Yeah, watching it grow it's uh it is but it's is it stressful? time consuming it's, no it is because you could fuck up and feel like uh, you could overthink it right because like you could put one like i don't know sometimes i put out some shit it'll turn out and it'll fucking have like three thousand views like in a day like what the fuck like hell yeah i'm on now and then the next one will go out and I had like 250. I'm like, what the fuck oh. is going on? <laughs> That's too big of a difference. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't fuck that. I don't have no more Facebook fans. <laughs> I, I mean, I keep saying Facebook. I don't have no more Instagram followers. I'm not start from scratch. You know, like you get that panic. <laughs> and then two days later, that same post that you were tripping on because you got this funnel of fans now. Now right. that one got just as many as you were waiting on. It gets more reciprocated. Gotcha. Because now instead of people just liking something, since the, it's growing because people are sharing it, I think people are more intrigued in going to the actual page. Yeah. So when I realized that I was getting more visitors there too, that's another thing I did. I went through and I cleaned out a bunch of shit that was purposeless. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was flirting with it and trying to learn how to do shit and just dumb shit that I just had on there for no reason because I had an Instagram account. I'm trying to learn it, so I'm posting this and I'm gonna ah, okay. fishing for likes. Do people like do people like you know like I gotcha. Generic shit, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. Yeah, you know, for sure. not not fake but just Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yes, who are you to give us good advice today? Yeah. Day type of yeah. Fuck that. Nobody cares. I don't want to. I don't want to read your shit. <laughs> me speaking to myself. Yeah, I know what you mean. I raced all that. It wasn't much of it though. You know what I'm saying? But it was enough of it to clean it out. Right. And uh, I made my. I really. That's what I really rededicated. Like this is really just my. Welcome to my music hub right now, and that's gonna. Right. I, I do have to outsource to some, so where you can go there to get to other places. But I got a good little start right now. 
Where uh, where's like the best way people can find any of your shit? Man, I think that definitely to come get a, a, a taste of it. Instagram, if they're not already on it, you know, Alan Wayne Prodigy. I'm on Instagram. Run that all the P R A D A G Y. Yes, Alan A L A N Wayne Prodigy. P R A D A G Y. That'll lead you everywhere. If you go to YouTube. Search that same thing. Go Just to Google. Google it. Yeah, Google Just it. Just Google Alan Wayne Prodigy. Of shit comes up, man. And if you're searching it like on your Spotify and thing, I'm glad you asked that. They haven't merged my shit. So there's some things that are under there just under Alan Wayne. Then there's some things that are under there under Alan Wayne the Prodigy. So you kind of got to search both of them to follow the full effect of all of it, you know, because it's split. I'm trying to get them all to merge together. But again, that's some shit that I had to research and I think I need right. a pipeline to how to do it. But it's just like time versus importance. They're finding it, thank God. I'm gonna make it easier. But as long as they keep on finding it, you know, I'm not gonna, you know. iTunes, we can get a. Uh, can iTunes, we get the demonstration anywhere. on iTunes? Absolutely, you can get it anywhere. Where do you make the most money? Um, I think everybody's doing better on streams now. But surprisingly, I do very well on iTunes. I mean, like it. I I I didn't mean that in a personal. No, I know what you of, mean. I meant like. Where do you get the most money? Like, if I if I were to buy your album, where do you want me to buy it from? Where it's gonna benefit you the most? Oh, that's I what mean, I mean. It depends on how, no. How will you buy it? If you're gonna buy purchase the whole thing, it doesn't matter. My first sale that I got off the demonstration was like off of Amazon somewhere in Germany. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it came. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how you spend it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying you can go anywhere. It's, it's but I mean, can't buy it on Spotify and buy it on well, iTunes. You, you, and you, you get you, the you want to add it to your Spotify playlist. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't know shit about Spotify. Yeah, a lot of people don't. I don't. I'm learning that too. But I'm doing good on Spotify. So if I learn some shit yeah. about it, I could probably do a lot better. You right. know what I'm saying? But all that's gonna come along. But I have put. Um, I, I've done a little something. But uh, yeah, Spotify. Search that on Spotify. Add it to your playlist. Share it with your people, you know, uh, or otherwise just Google it. But yeah, like well, if you want to buy from anywhere, just, it doesn't matter. Just buy it. Just buy it, man. Wherever you're comfortable at, wherever you would do, wherever you would go buy, whatever else you're listening to at. Yeah, buy I want to get into more stuff at another time. I feel like hopefully we didn't lose those two hours or whatever. No, we had some good stuff in there. Um. I want to take you up on your offer. You saying you'll come back anytime? I'd Absolutely. love to have you again. We'll uh. We'll get something scheduled here in the near future. I want to have you back and, and, and just, yeah, man. I think I found a new friend. Yeah, I think so, man. I need <laughs> like I said, man, like I said, I'm on an island, but I'm, I'm, it's not like. I'll a, swim to your island. There's no gates on this island, man. You yeah. Know, you can, people can, you know, it's, it's cool on this island, man. I've got an island that's uh, adjacent to yours. Man, I don't come on over, man. Yeah. The it's water a, it's is a nice. very, it's a small podcast island and it's always yeah, looking. Man. For uh, right, friends man. and yeah, man. people to help me get coconuts and catch fish. Hell yeah, man. I'm trying to get some coconuts and fish myself. Yeah, yeah, we are. We all trying to eat. You know what I mean? And I'm dead ass serious, man. We all trying to come up together, man. And it's not often that you meet people who you can have these kind of conversations yeah. with. You know, a lot of that I don't have these conversations because some of it gets too foreign language for some. I got you. you. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's all right, you know, but so I just keep it to myself. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna call you Prodigy. Call me that, man. Prodigy, I thank you so much for being here. Uh, is there anything you want to shout out to or pimp or do anything before we we get out of here and uh, oh, sign man. off? I don't know where to look at, but uh, if you're watching this, oh yeah, let's. You want to get his camera on? Uh, uh, no, you ain't gotta even do that. I just there you can look at at this one right here. That one. Yep. I'll holler look back and see. If you're <laughs> watching this, thank you. If you heard my music. And like to thank you if you heard my music, you thought it sucked. Thank you, especially if you listen to it on one of your um, those platforms that stream. So judge it on one of those. But uh, real talk though, I really appreciate just being here, man. Like for real, this is one of those signs you never look for validation. I think if you're searching for validation in anything that you're doing, you're kind of doing it for the wrong reason. And good luck with that. Even if you achieve it, bet you don't feel as good as you think it would. But this is one of those things that lets me just i feel good about it you know what i'm saying like it, it's uh, i don't need to be validated but it feels good to be invited because you could have invited anybody you know what i'm saying and you yeah. invited me and i'm honored you know i can't believe you said yes i was so stoked i mean <laughs> no, man, i had a ball too man good really and my kind of shit too man 
Fuck yeah. Just the way the way they pull it up on me, man. Real hippie style, man. You know what I'm saying? Like just come on, let's roll, you know. <laughs> you know, I respect the shit out of that, you know. Fuck yeah. Right, you know, no fear they don't know me from a can of paint. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I could have been <laughs> strapped down like Fort Knox, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> they wasn't worried about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why should they be? You know what I'm saying? Right. I love that. I respect that. That's right. And this wasn't a get out situation. No, nah, it wasn't. I know it wouldn't be. I wasn't <laughs> worried about it. I'm in the gym all the time, dude. You see it. You saying you can take me? Let's go outside right now. I got you. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, like you, can, you got me. Trust me. I like your odds, too. <laughs> no. No, I don't know. You can never judge a book by No, you're color. right. Uh, Prodigy, I thank you so much, man. Uh, and we are going to get out of here. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Go find me at Neanderthalk Pod on Instagram. Find Alan Wayne Prodigy on Instagram. Mm-hmm. All that shit, everybody. Thank you guys for listening. We are out of here. Yeah, namaste and shit, man. Listen to Neanderthal. Say what?